Welcome back to the number one podcast in the world. We're your hosts, Chase Damore. And Gabrielle Moses. And today I'm joined with my lovely friend, Sydney. Sydney, why don't you tell the people where you're from? I'm uh, from Minnesota. Sydney Slachter. Sydney Slachter. Why'd you try to say it twice? Which <laughs> Slachter? Because I, I have a list when I say it sometimes. Slachter. 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 Yeah. So that's very, how you say it, guys. Slachter. <laughs> yeah. Is that a Minnesota name? It's a German I feel like there's a lot of Germans in Minnesota, right? There's a lot of Germans. In like Minnesota. a lot, a lot. So yeah. it's like the north, technically. Yes. North, no, Midwest. Not mid ish. North. <laughs> I'm Midwest, so I'm from Missouri. Okay. So we're from out there. Oh, yeah. A place that people from LA don't know. Don't know about. They're like, okay, where is that on a map? <laughs> yeah, exactly. They exactly. would not know. So what was it like growing up in Minnesota? It was, there? Um, it was good. Honestly, like Mm, no, I take that back. The no. friends. <laughs> never Sorry, mind. Minnesotians. Sorry, Minnesotans. Love y'all. Um, everyone's, I mean, Minnesota nice, but the girls are the opposite. The girls are snaky and harsh. It's like everyone's passive. Um, so like LA. Like, yeah, but not, LA is like bold with it. Minnesota yeah. is like not bold with it, which is almost worse. Because oh. then you're like, So okay, it's like so stab you in the back type Yes. Of- Exactly. What happened to you in high school? <laughs> like, there had to be something. Why'd you tell? Why'd she go straight to high school? Because like, no high school is after high school. I yeah. moved after high school. High school's where, like, all the trauma Jeez. happens. Yes, that what is, is where the trauma happens. What is going on in your high school? <laughs> Jesus. No, that's where you're, like, scarred for life. That's, yeah, that's where the shit happens that traumatizes you. Exactly. That's <laughs> yeah. what made you want to leave. It <laughs> is. It is. So what was yeah. it like going to high school there? Um, it was, it was good. It was, I had a really big high school, so like there's a lot of people there, a lot of drama. Oh, um, yeah, okay. I don't, I don't, really, I don't even know exactly how to say without shitting on Minnesota entirely, but. Uh, I mean, that's not like, we, we don't know. Yeah. So I don't, I, the education was great, the education was great. The people are not my favorite. Mm-hmm. I feel it, I feel so it. So did you go to college out here or did you just move your life? I went back? to college um, for two years in Minnesota. Mm-hmm. I went to nursing school because mm-hmm. I was going to be a nurse anesthetist. Gotcha, gotcha. And then I decided to do social media, move to LA, and uh-huh. withdraw from college and everything. So yeah. now I'm going that route. All right, so rolling right into the social media, living in LA, now you, uh, reality TV, like all this stuff. Walk yes. me through the process. How does that work? How does one just decide they're going to leave Minnesota, come to LA, start a social <laughs> media career, and now on television? It's like um, a 180 flop. It too. is. Honestly, like I've been dealt like some really good cards, I will say. Ever since moving to LA, like I met a great group of people right away. Like um, I've had amazing opportunities, which a lot of people who've been here for like five years have even had. Mm-hmm. Um, honestly, like I, after I was here for like a year, it took me a little bit to like get on my feet and like meet people and mm-hmm. like get in the groove of like work and everything. But my group happens to be like, everyone's influencers, everyone's either singers or, or they do music or they're dancers or social media, like they do everything. So we all kind of like collab together. We all kind of network together. And that kind of helped push me out in a way to like, I guess grow my social media enough to where I actually got like a DM from the show and then kind of followed through with it. I, I've gotten a bunch of DMs before from like TV shows and I thought like, oh yeah, yeah, whatever. Like I didn't think it was legit. And then I had an interview and then like an hour later I had another interview and then the next day I had another interview and then like three That's days great. after that. That's yeah, so fast. I it feel went, like usually it's dragged out a well, lot longer. It was like within the like a two week span we had like I had like five interviews and then I had to wait a month for them to basically tell me if like the production wanted to interview me for the last time. And then I waited a month. They said they wanted to interview me one more time. Did the interview. I think I waited like a week and then they mm-hmm. called me and I was like, do you want to still do it? They're like, get ready, oh, pack your bye. bags. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Okay, before like, we get into yeah. that though, like what were you doing before social media to where you were like, you saved up the money where you just moved across the country to LA because LA is expensive. Okay, well, it's so weird. expensive. Completely transparent. COVID helped me out with that oh, because no. yeah, I was That's a fair. workaholic in Minnesota. So when COVID happened, mm-hmm. I got unemployment out the oh, ass. That's nice. Yeah. Is that so like the two thousand dollars a month or something like that? I got stipend yeah, or whatever. I got like it was like I don't know if it was a week or a month, but I got like 
800 something. So like when I moved out here, I was sitting on good like 15 racks. <laughs> like, when I was COVID? like, yes, when I was nine, and I was like 1920. And I was like, what do I do with that? Oh, At least you saved LA. it though. Yeah. And you weren't like spending it or whatever. Yeah. So you moved out here then 2020? October 2021. Okay. What was yeah. your job that you were doing though? Like out here in Minnesota. In Minnesota. Uh, I was a CNA, certified oh, okay. nursing assistant. So okay. I worked at a, at a retirement home. And Wasn't that an home. essential job though? Was it what? Wasn't that one? Of yeah. Them? How did? How were you not? Yeah, working? but so, before that is when I kind of made the bread, and then mm -hmm. COVID shut out a little bit, and then obviously they needed nurses, so I went and worked as a CNA, but I already mm -hmm. had it all saved up, and so I was a CNA for like eight months, and then racking up more money. Yeah, I had to be sad though working in a retirement home. It was sad, That's but tough. it was rewarding in the way because like my unit was a TCU mm -hmm. unit so it's transitional care so it was oh. like whoever went through the surgery their goal is that they'll be able to like leave care and mm -hmm. not have to be in like hospice for the rest of their life so it wasn't like Alzheimer's unit yeah or stroke so unit. like yeah all the patients were motivated to like motivated enough to want to like get better compared to like long-term unit care would like Mm -hmm. They all assume they're going to be there until they die. So they yeah. don't want to do anything like they don't That's put so any sad. effort into like rolling over. Like you have to do everything for them. Yeah. It just seems like such a big switch from that <laughs> to, <laughs> to modeling on Instagram, yeah. to yeah. reality yeah. television. Like, like, OK, yeah. so, so we out there. what was the first TV show that reached out to you? Um, Love Island actually reached out mm -hmm. to me when I was here for like maybe eight months, but I didn't know what the hell I was doing or how to go about it. So I was like, oh, it's fake. I'm not gonna respond. No way. So I didn't respond and I got so mad because I, after I got this DM, I was like, okay, well clearly that one was probably legit. Cause it was like right. the same people who followed the same people. So of course, but it's okay. It's a small it happens for a reason. Dating. Exactly. And so, uh, so this, Okay, the show that you're on, you were mentioning earlier before starting that it switched names. So what was that? Like, what was the show and what did it switch to? So it was supposed to be F Girl Island because they have F Boy Island out. Mm -hmm. um, but so mine was like the opposite. And then, so like The Bachelor kind of, but three? You guys yes, are just praying but, on the innocence like, of three guys. Like, <laughs> yes, but those guys got it out. Like, they have all these girls going for them. They're dating mm -hmm. each, like, ten girls at once. Like, so is that they're not, thriving. Is it not hard and, like, awkward to make, like, friendships on the show? Because, like, if you're all dating the same guy. Surprisingly, like, like yes, it's hard. Mm -hmm. But we're all kind of, like we all kind of understand the issue where it's like, okay, we're all stuck together and we're all dating yeah. the same people. So it's we either drop the ego after, you know, cameras turn off and like actually be friends because we didn't have like our phones either. So we were just mm -hmm. stuck randomly in like in the place, place that we filmed, no one that we've known before at all. So we kind of had to like swallow our pride a little bit and just mm -hmm. make get friends. Along. Yeah, make friends. Yeah. So on this show, were you guys all living together with the guys, the girls, like separate places? We, it was like separate. Um, yeah, it was a resort, basically. And we were in like one area and the guys were in a different. But we, there was like one sidewalk that we could use and that was it. And it was like hold 30 on. feet. Hold on, hold on. Like, we could control where you're walking. We were back. in the confined what? area. Yeah. So you're at a resort, but you could only use one part of yes. the road. We could only use one section because if you go like what? 10 feet down, it's the guys and you can't see the guys. You can't like. You can't interact? No, you can't I mean, interact that because it all has to be on camera. So mm -hmm. like any, even is like to the point that you would walk to go get lunch and they'd be walking this way and producers would come and turn you so that you guys could not even look at each other. Like no eye contact. No, like, nothing. What? Like the guys would obviously be like, yeah, what's up? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, so did they control like every aspect of your day while you're filming too? Damn like near. could you leave at all or you could leave as long as you stay within territory <laughs> on that sidewalk on the map. You <laughs> yeah, it was like it was like ugh, it's so hard to explain. It was like the pool deck and oh. the stairs up and it was like five bedrooms and in each mm -hmm. room we had like five or six girls. And then oh, you guys shared a bed too? Hold on. No, it was on? bunk beds. Bunk beds. Some odd bunk beds. What kind of college no. dorm TV show is this? Yeah, it was no. interesting. Um, and then you go out the door and it's like the sidewalk and then there's like um like the like I guess another getting ready room and then the lunchroom and then like the producer's a lunch area. Lunch room. Yeah. That was it. 
Sabe Han. So what's the, what's the premise and the point of the show? So it's like all you guys are trying to win money, trying to win a date, like. So the whole point of the show is you either go in as an F girl or a nice girl. And basically, if you're a nice girl, it means you're there to like. You're a nice girl, right, Sid? Actually, I guess I'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll find out. Stay tuned, April 11th. Oh, oh my um, But yeah, so like nice girls, you go on and basically you're there to date the guy. Like leaving the show, you're there to like continue the relationship. If you come on as an F girl, you're there to win the money. So at the very end of it, each guy, so like the whole, the whole point is the guys are trying to like find a connection, but also like sift through the girls to figure out who is an F girl and who's a nice girl, like who has the right intentions mm -hmm. and the wrong intentions. So they don't know like what you're going on. They as. don't know our status. The rest of the girls don't know our status because they could sabotage and like tell the guy, oh, by the way, this is an F girl, or this is a nice girl. Oh, so, so you like, can't even talk you to you. You can't tell anybody, oh, only the shit. producers know. See, I feel like if I was on it, I would just tell them all that I'm like an F whatever, so that way. Just so you can go on as an F boy. No, because you're saying. No, because if you get kicked off, you don't win any money. But or just say you're a nice person and then be lying like and then win the money. Like, yeah. So like. Mm, yeah. I, it's I'm so confusing. It's super confusing. Give me a second, God. I'm fucking hell. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> God. I'm like, I'm my confusion is is like. Why don't they just eliminate everybody that they don't like in the in the sake of it being an F girl? Like, do they have like if they eliminate all the nice girls, do they lose? Like, how because does because it... at the very end of it, if a guy chooses a nice girl, automatically they split. Oh. They, so each guy has a hundred k pot at the very end of it. So if you choose a nice girl, they automatically split fifty fifty. Mm -hmm. But if you choose an F girl, the F girl could say fuck you and take all of the money at the very oh. end. So the guy has to like trust you that you're a good person, but also the money is also riding on yeah. that person also. So, so like, is, it, is it possible that if you're an F girl, but if you actually like the guy, you can still split the money with him? Yeah, you can decide to choose it. You can be like an F girl reform. <laughs> so like that was that was basically like what a lot of like you, you couldn't tell the girls the status, but you could kind of pick up on the conversations mm -hmm. and the way they would like ask questions about was the there girls? alliances yeah. and stuff going on in oh this my house? god like, yes oh my god yes were they trying to uh -oh, easy people? sounds like some yes. beef happened oh, i got in a few arguments uh, i'll be I honest know. i feel like a couple i feel like if i was on the show what i would do is i'd be like i'm gonna get a couple friends and i'm gonna be like she's the biggest threat so we're gonna go on our dates and we're gonna convince said guy that that's an f girl i heard her saying in the bathroom she was doing it, her makeup yeah see people did that for sure but then the guy would also turn around oh so it backfired. So like two fingers, one finger pointing three back at you. Yeah, exactly. Point. So then how often were people getting like eliminated? So it was every, like, every other day we'd have a mixer and every mixer we'd have an elimination. And one person? Three, I, either, I, each guy would send home one girl. So it was three girls would go every other So people other were day. leaving, like dropping Fast. like flies. Yeah. Was there a lot of waterworks, nice. people crying? Oh my God, yeah. I, ugh. Yeah. Like, I, uh. You almost spoiled it. <laughs> yeah. There's some water mix. Man, so if somebody got sent home and they do they then reveal their status of if they were a nice girl or F girl? Yeah, so that's like the big like ball drop, mic drop of the whole mm -hmm. show basically. Cause like when you leave, you basically are like, so my status, like I came here as, a, mm -hmm. and then you say F girl or nice girl. And then you basically just send your, like you just say your piece, mm -hmm. talk your shit, talk shit about someone else or say your piece. Is it like 12 episodes then? So or? I think it's 10. 10? Yeah. Oh. Only 10. So it's like shorter than a normal. Yeah, it's shorter. That's why I don't really exactly know how they're going about it, but they're yeah. releasing it once a week. Cause it's not, a, it's on the it's CW. It's, no, it's not only 10 episodes. I thought a season was 12. No, like, I did, like, I guess it's usually like depends. 10 to 12. Like 10 is pretty average, I would say. And then they're, you said they're releasing it one episode a week. Yeah. That's pretty okay. good. So then it, the show basically airs on the network for what, three months or like, so? Yeah, two and a half, three months. Yeah. That that's, makes sense. That's pretty good. Um, so, okay. The, the question I have is, is you're on the show, you make friends, you meet people that you don't like. There's always the group chat. I've done a million mm -hmm. <laughs> This is like, at what point do people start backing out of the group chats? There's outside, yeah. outside drama. Like, is there stuff going on right now before the show comes out <laughs> that is you think is going to change or that? There's, there's already a little bit of 
beef happening right now. And all these people are from all over, all over the world, country. All over. Yeah, me and mostly America. Mostly America. All America. Yeah, but like we got Hawaii, we got Minnesota, Texas, like everywhere. Twenty of you guys. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of people. It's a lot of girls. Okay. It's a Sounds lot like of a lot girls. of drama. It's a lot of girls. A lot of drama. A lot of, I mean, you know how girls are. Now imagine throwing 24 of them yeah. in who also are dating the same guys. And all you guys have yes. to do is talk about like these dates yes. and stuff. So it's like you're trying to make friends with somebody like, girl, there's no way he told you X, yeah, Y, Z. No, he told me that exactly too. That's exactly what it was. Because like my best friend on the show was, I had two best friends. It was um, Mina and Kiara. Mm. And so oh, like our conversations were crazy. Oh, you crazy. get to pick your guy. I forgot to ask you that. Get it, yeah, okay. you get to pick your guy, but... Whether you're yeah, nice, I mean, whether you're nice or not, if you're a nice girl, it's like I probably felt the best connection. Whether you're an F girl, I felt like I could take advantage of him the most. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, the guy that I was going for, the guy that I had the connection with, had the most girls. That so like, so he would had, that not like, be harder? Yeah. So it was a bigger percentage of girls that were like going for him. So like all my best friends on the show, we were all going for the same guy. So, Always like, pick the ugly one. Everybody watching back home, <laughs> pick the least threatening one. Take it it's easier. Gosh. No, but we'd be at lunch and we'd be like, she'd be like, oh, I, don't, I just don't know if he likes me. And we're like, no, babe, he does. Like, I swear. Like, <laughs> oh, look so at the energy. And then it'd stop and we'd be like, okay, now I don't know if he likes me. And she'd be like, no, no, no. Like, like, it was literally back and forth. Like, the banter was, it was crazy, but it really didn't come in between, like, mm-hmm. us really at all. Yeah. Cause because you guys are all, you all know you're filming a show. Yeah. Too. Well, I mean, also with with that, it's like I feel like it starts that way, but like the longer you're there, the more you do, the more like that, oh, it's just reality TV turns into like we forget that we're on TV and now we yes. think this is so fucking for real. Like, no, oh. and you do. You get in that headspace where it's mm-hmm. like you don't have a phone for the whole time you're there. Like the oh, blackout the days. Yeah. We didn't have a phone the whole time. Like, and we had blackout days where we could call we can make one call, but it was monitored. Hi, mom. <laughs> Literally. And you'd have to just pray that they're on their phone at that time. So I would have to be like, okay, so Minnesota, two hours ahead. What time is it now? Like, I have to ask the producer what time it is because I didn't have my phone to check. And then sometimes, like, like the first night we were there, you're literally cut off from the whole world. Like, you guys were stuck in a We little... were stuck, yeah. The area that we filmed in, we were stuck in. Couldn't talk to anybody. So, like, yeah. you start thinking that this is like reality, that this is mm-hmm. your real world. These are actually guys that you're like, these are the only guys in your point of line. Like, Gosh. it's So you're on a date and it's raining and storming. Like, <laughs> yeah. let me just get that. Like no, you sit outside trying to have a steak and wine. We luckily didn't film on those days, but mm. that means, so we would film for like four or five days straight, like 12 mm-hmm. hours a day. And then we'd have two days that we didn't film. But when we had the hurricane, we didn't film for like three days. So we had to film for like seven days straight. Mm-hmm. So, and it was like, you go to bed like at 3 a.m. Cause you'd film, you have to come home. Also I haven't eaten in like eight mm-hmm. hours. So you have to eat and you probably don't get to like, and then you all debrief, like in your room, you have your own little debriefs and you can like hear other people. Or you're mm-hmm. like going to eavesdrop or you like, you send one girl to go figure out like, Something oh, like and then debrief. The yeah, there was scheming everywhere. And then that debrief would take like an hour. So we wouldn't get to bed until like three or four. We have to wake up at like 10, start filming at 11. Like, it was a, it was a That's whole a day of work. Crazy. So throughout the process of doing this, would you say like it's something that you would encourage other people to want, who want that want to do reality TV to, to? Honestly, yeah. Like it was, it sounds crazy. It sounds intense. I know I'm talking kind of like, mm-hmm. like the experience was amazing. It was beautiful. I met so many like amazing people. I'm getting like zapping. I was gonna say, you know, it's like, like red. It's like, like red. It's not zapping me. I was like, I feel it zapping me. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, sorry. It's a little okay, red. so you said it's like a, it's a good experience. It's a good experience. Positive. It was it was really cool to experience something like that, being from like Minnesota, where yeah. that would never happen, <laughs> and. It's also kind of cool because like not a lot of people know what that's like. So then mm-hmm. the people who are on a TV show or was on like your TV show, mm-hmm. you have that little like bond where it's like, yeah. oh my God, fuck the mics or 
or like call times or whatever, like yeah. or um, OTFs, like mm -hmm. those are shit. Like you can just like have a banner, you the can OTFs bond with that the shit. They are Don't you, fucking you ever have a situation OTFs. where you're really pissed off or really emotional yeah. or something, and they're like, just wait, wait, like, wait, don't wait. say anything, don't yeah. say anything, wait, Let's wait, wait. Let's walk 20 minutes down the fucking road so you can and say it again. Hold that feeling, hold that feeling, hold that feeling, they're trying to set it up real quick, like hold it, and I'm like, no, I'm really upset. I'll be fucking pissed. Like, there was a time I was, I was so, like, I'm a frustrated crier, so I got so frustrated, I started crying, and they're like, hey, cameras, go, like, let's get an interview. And I'm like, yo, let me just cry right now. You're like, I'm just so mad. Let me just be mad, and now you are making me cry more because I'm so frustrated. Yeah, It's like you can't get the emotions out that you want to say, so then it both, no, I totally get that. And then it's like, you're just, your emotions, everything, it's just right on camera, which is intense, like, I'm, I'm excited, but I'm looking like a little nervous. Exactly. But villain, baby. <laughs> yeah, it's, exactly. It's a, <laughs> Are you still <laughs> friends? <laughs> Are you still friends with the girls on the show? Like, do you talk to them still? Um, we I talked to a few. We're yeah. in like a group chat, like right. I mean, we're in a group chat, but we're all trying to figure yeah, out the premiere. Group chat. Yeah, we yeah. have separate group chats, and then we have like mm -hmm. the big group chat. But um, yeah, I'm actually seeing one of my friends. I've seen seeing Mina this mm -hmm. week. Hopefully, oh, that's fun. Where's she it. from originally? She lives. And I don't know originally where she's from, but she lives like five minutes from me. Yeah, oh, which shoot. is like, perfect. That's yeah. so close. It was cool. Like some of them, like I would say, like three or four, all live in Hollywood. We all know like the same people. Oh, that's so funny. when we were on the TV show, we're like, oh my god, you know, <laughs> you guys this are like, person, oh, this oh, that. period. Yeah. What was it like trying to can tell your parents, like, hey, mom, dad, I'm going on this show called F Girl Island, like. <laughs> I'm gonna try to date one of three guys. <laughs> I'm going against 24 other oh baddies. Like, like, what was that? Honestly, my parents are all for it. They're like, hell yeah, you're gonna go win. It like, sounds like 23 luck. other people are gonna be in yeah, those bad days. Exactly. Oh. No, they were, cause I'm like the youngest girl and I'm the only girl of my family. So like my brothers, they all do like, you know, nine to five, like just like a yeah. job. And so I'm like the- Oh, poor them. The they're oddball. Gonna, they're, like, their coworkers are gonna have a field day. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm the one who moved to LA and they're like, okay, yeah. like you got this. They're and like, so they're like, you know what? You said you wanted to do that. Like I said, I wanted to be on TV show when I was in Minnesota before I lived out here. And yeah. then it just mm -hmm. happened. So they're like, good for you. You're, you're doing your shit. Mm -hmm. I don't know anything about it, but I support you. Aww, like, yeah. Nice. Are they they're protective older brothers? Oh yeah, very yeah. protective. Now would you, would, if they come to you and go, hey Sid, we need you for season two or do another show, would you do mm -hmm. it again? Um, the same show? Or, or just like else? something similar. Oh, I'll definitely do another show for uh, sure. Yeah. You enjoyed like the what was it like not having your phone? Did you find like mental clarity? Did you feel like you were looking for it? At um, I found mental clarity, yes, but it also I never found myself like going to like check for my phone or like grab mm -hmm. it. The only time I did was like looking for the time because like. Mm -hmm. Not the best at reading class. <laughs> but the analog. Like, class. Yes, I always have my phone. Yeah. So that was like the most difficult time, or like um, waking up and not knowing the time until it's like 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. or whatever. But we used to just like Look know where the, the sun was at. We'll be like, okay, that looks like it probably uh -huh. about noon. Like about like yesterday, it was like oh, two yeah. hours. It was dark. Mm -hmm. It's summertime. We it's had like six. We had like trees around us, so it was kind of the same. Once the the sun got to here, almost covered. We we're like, okay, so it's almost dinner time. <laughs> we're getting close so to the funny. end. Um, but yeah, it'll just be. I'm just curious, like I said, just how they make me out to be, because like mm -hmm. I was the youngest girl on the show. And how, old were, how old are you? I'm 23. I just turned 23 in December, though. Okay. So I was 22 when I went on it. Mm -hmm. And I think the oldest was 32. So That's like, a big age gap. Yeah. But the guys were, like, the guy that I was going for, I think he was, like, 24. Mm -hmm. And there was, like, a 27-year-old. And then there's a 30-year-old. So they really had, like, every age range. Mm -hmm. That's hard. It was, it was really difficult. Like, it was really interesting. Mm -hmm. Because their dating, like, their point of life that they're dating at is so different than, like, Long. My point in life, you know they what I'm saying? Kids. Like, yes. <laughs> that's the like, like, it puts like a, a target on you in a sense because oh, now yeah. it's like it didn't matter if you went in there as an F girl or a nice girl. They're gonna look at you. They're gonna be like, this girl's 22. Not ready. She's blonde. She's pretty smooth. Yeah. Like, I don't, like you know what I mean? But yeah, hundred like, percent. Living right in LA, like oh, yeah. blonde girl. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. I had a target on my back the whole time. They yeah. hate. Like they love. The thing is, like I was so nice. Okay, so there was like a good two year gap. A good two year gap. That's a Yeah, and my oldest brother's two years older than me and I look at him like a whole ass adult and yeah. I like it was just and like 
Not a whole ass doll. <laughs> a whole ass doll. Gross like, 24. <laughs> yeah, but for me, he's so much older. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Course. Like, growing up, like, he just seems like he's yeah. so much older than me. And being the youngest in the family, too. Yeah. Like, that's also different. Yeah. But, that's like, now, tough. like, like my best friend is two years older than me. I feel like she's my same age, but mm -hmm. it's just crazy. So, I'm just taking a, a step away from the show just for a second here. Mm -hmm. As far as, um, you know, it's really important, like, going on these shows, building a, a following and stuff. As far as, like, brand building individually, have you been, uh, like, looking or taking steps in, like, the right direction to kind of capitalize on the stardom that's going to be coming your way over the next couple months? Yeah, like, I've, I've been doing what I can to kind of like reach out to brands and try and get like brand deals lined up. Um, it's been a, it was a little hard at first because like there's no mention of the show. So like I could have just been talking out of my ass. Like I could have just been making up a show. So the brands like now the more and more like the show's coming out and like getting mentioned, they're more like I'm finding more brand deals, I guess that want to work with me. But like, what, been, what is ideal brand for you though just for like the people that don't like do you like fashion bikinis food like, like what is your thing yeah fashion bikinis and food yeah and like, yeah. like oh, honestly like, anything. anything i'll take anything i really yeah. like i like i said i'm from minnesota i we don't do brand deals stuff like that so like i'll i'll take what i can get honestly okay. like I, I guess the main way i'm trying to capitalize and like monetize off of it is um i'm coming out with my clothing brand so oh, I'm cool. trying to, yeah, I'm trying to have that release. What is the name of your clothing brand? What type of clothes is it? So the name is Clash. 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 Does that like something? Like, uh, I mean, oh, it's no. Like, it's not, it's not what it means. It how, do like spell, cliche. How, do spell, how do you spell Clash? Clash, C-L-A-Y-S-C-H. How do you spell cliche? C-L-I-C-H-E. See, that was impressive. Uh, I, 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 I was trying to put it together in my head real quick. Like, hold on, is C that correct? Clea, C -shit. Yeah, Clay, so that's my, my grandpa's name is uh, Clayton, and he's like my best friend. He passed away. Oh, uh, he's in heaven, yes. His name is Clayton, and my last name, Schlachter. That's so hard to say for everybody. <laughs> so it's like Clay and Sh, like Clay. Oh. The Schlachter. Oh, oh no? okay. Clash. So is it like activewear or? So it's like unisex sweats, basically. It's like versatile unisex cord. I like sweats. sweats. So, so if you need like a, a male like influencer model, yeah, I got you. I, got you. I like the sweats. Period. I got you. Yeah. It's like I, I'm a very big like, like oversized kind of like loungewear girl. Mm -hmm. Like I really don't like to just wear dresses 24 seven. You'll see me in sweats anytime that I can be in sweats. Um, but I, I usually always buy men's sweats because they're bigger and baggier and like so girls are comfy. so like weirdly formed. I don't And then on the thighs like, it's too Yeah, like, like I'm wearing sweats to yeah. not have form. Like no, that's the whole that. point. So mm -hmm. I I was like, you know what, fuck it, let me come out with my own my own clothing brand mm -hmm. and it's super dope. Like Where did the idea stem from and then who put it in your head? Like, hey, I'm gonna pump this out. Yeah. The idea stemmed from, honestly, just growing up wearing all my brother's hand-me-downs. <laughs> like, all men's clothing, all my brother's hand-me-downs, like, all their sweats. And I was, I, like, could never, my parents could never buy me sweats that actually worked for me. Like, mm -hmm. they were always too small. Like you said about the thighs, I've always had the thighs. thighs. Or the butt. Literally. Yeah, no, and it doesn't, that. like, matte, like. You get that? It doesn't work. <laughs> no, the act one, like, there's brands. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Yeah, I'll let you hit them, fuck. <laughs> No, but, but literally, it's hard to find a good. Where are you getting them, like produ like produced and like manufactured? Well, before before you answer the the production side of it, is this like is are these like ready to go? Like you have like the so website? I have made the order. I have a few samples already that I'm basically. I think I that I I found like the the manufacturer that I want to go through. Mm -hmm. um, I have the, the website being set up right now. I have like all the la like loose ends being tied up basically right now. You got now. 30 days, man. And then yeah, but that's the dang. thing, like, I feel like in a way, because I have like two and a half months. So like if mm -hmm. I can just get out like a soft launch and send yeah, it to my months. influencers, mm -hmm. yeah, it'll be gone. It'll be on the oh, on air for like, like, like 10 the, weeks. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So sure. like the more I get on the show, the more people know my name. If yeah. I soft launch it and like, like I said, um, my friend group, like we all are, have, you know, we're all influencers. They have mm -hmm. crazy followings and I just give, you know, everyone a pair or something and they post for me and just yeah. kind of start smaller like a softer launch and go from there and then do a hard launch like maybe after the show airs or somewhere in between mm -hmm. like I'm trying to figure out 
the best way to go about it right now there's but so many options with everything so especially with like what i was saying with the production too mm -hmm. like where you're getting your materials from some Literally. people will only buy if it's from certain countries mm -hmm. and this or that but then the prices go crazy if exactly. you get it like from this or if it's only made like ecologically smart Literally. and like the quality wise too like yeah it's especially because like launching it like and we're in LA. Every girl who gets a little bit of clout, a little bit of like, you know, they have a workout brand. Yeah, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna come out with a clothing brand and yeah. come out with a workout brand. But like, it's smart. Like, mm -hmm. it's really smart. You can yeah. monetize off of it like crazy. It's just you need to know the right way to go about it. You know, because mm -hmm. every girl's gonna be doing it. I, like, three of my friends are also releasing a clothing brand. Like, one of my friends completely changed her whole design thing and everything to look damn near exactly like mine. And I. Actually, gave me so much shit for it. One of your friends. Yeah, we're not friends anymore now, actually. Oh, shit. I'd hope but not. No, <laughs> yeah, fuck. Yeah, that's it. just ripped you off. That's she's a thinking, hey, good idea. Yeah, literally. That's no, she, she's actually. Imagine she's her had a lot of shit happening. Like, you would be hot. She fucking. Copyright. Oh my God. Copyright claim. Literally. <laughs> Thank God I've I seen... trademarked, copyrighted all my shit already. That's like, good. The only thing that's pissing me off, though, is Kleish, I think, is a German name or something because on Instagram, this guy who's German has, he has like two, 20 followers and I'm trying to bite off of him. Like I literally, he's going to charge out that He's not me. Yeah. And all of his captions are in like German. And I'm like, shit, so you're from Germany. Google got Translate. Yeah. And you're not responding to my DM. Like, gosh. Let me have well, the Instagram account. Maybe just switch the spelling of it. I don't know. Like, but I'm I'm too deep into it. I oh, trademarked yeah. it. Like, oh, it, so you the, can't. Yeah, and like literally on the clothing it says Clay. Like one of the designs it says Clay. Oh, so, it's like the logo and everything. Yeah. That makes sense. That makes um, sense. I mean, well, that's good. Do you find that other people like I know you had mentioned like you had a couple friends on the show that were also trying to do like clothing. Do you find that other people that you've done this show with are like preparing in a in a way to set themselves up for a lot of success when this comes out? I feel like the girls who are from LA are because they kind of understand the way everything works in in the in the in the industry. Um, but I also know a lot of my friends like aren't really doing anything because I feel like they don't even know what to do. Like mm -hmm. it's not like production and them are gonna tell you like, hey, by the way, go do this more, go do this more. Like so you have a whole you have a management. I see I see you're you're working you're busting your tail a little quick, but you have a little bit of experience with the whole like micro influencing thing. Yeah. So like you're fully aware like typically especially in reality TV. Um, having like that anxiety when it comes out, it does come natural, but you also must prepare yourself mentally to understand that you know, drama is what's gonna sell. Oh so, yeah. Like when you watch it back and you're like, well, I don't like how they made me the person to say X, Y, and Z because there's a lot of drama. Mm -hmm. You are fully aware like that is gonna work. That's what's favorite. gonna sell, yeah. And like no matter what, unfortunately I understand that like, if you know, no publicity is bad publicity in mm -hmm. a certain way, you can say that, you know, take it with a grain of salt, but like, I'm, I have thick skin, you know, mm -hmm. so, you know, whatever happens, I'm also aware that I have a mouth on me sometimes, so on the show, I got in trouble a little bit, and it happens, but I'm fully prepared for it that. It helps, though, it could be fun. Yes, it's been yes, in favor. yes, and honestly, I'm, I'm kind of excited to see how shit mm -hmm. goes down, like, if I am the villain, and I am the youngest one, and I'm the one that, I, people who know me know who I am, they know I'm, like, a sweetheart, they know I'm, you know, nice and whatever, but... Mm -hmm. Fuck it, it's fucking, it's, it's your, your brand, work now. it's work, yeah, yeah it's yeah. like, that makes sense. it also sets you up, if, if you want to do more TV, if you want to continue to, mm -hmm. to go down like this path of like, well, this is what I really like doing, yeah. this is what I'm passionate about, like, okay. Yeah, what was like your hardest thing to deal with after like all your shows came out? Like your the first show that came out, what was like the most? Yeah, see, mine was a lot, like, I, it was a lot because like I wasn't really expecting what I got out of it. You know, like, mm -hmm. I, you go on the show, like, I was getting cast for Love Island too, and like, I was like, oh, I'm gonna do this whole lover boy thing. And I didn't think, mm -hmm. I was doing it because I wanted TikTok followers. Like, that's, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I'm gonna get, I just wanna <laughs> hit a million on TikTok just so I can go, <laughs> yeah, go, go to my- Go flex my shit. Yeah, go, go to work at Starbucks. And, you know, I wasn't that really- people know. Yeah, exactly. I wasn't really expecting what, you know, obviously like, you know, Two Out The Handle at the time was the biggest show because it was yeah. during COVID, everybody was watching You got so home. lucky with that too. Yeah, yeah. You, you really blew up. Like, you got a good- I got really, really it's a lot of luck too that played in it. Yeah. And like, when I say luck, I'm not talking about just the show. Like, obviously, when I talk about having a thick skin, people are gonna come from you. One of the biggest things that I fought 
tooth and nail for them not to air was the cockroach falling on my face. <laughs> I fought but that was like nail. iconic. Your second, that was like one yeah. of your pushes. That's, that's what push. exactly like, because it goes back to when I say like I wasn't fully prepared for what was gonna come with that. In my yeah. head, I was like, why the hell would I want you guys to air me <laughs> on a date talking about bug. feelings and a and giant can... nasty ass fucking bug <laughs> gonna come land on my damn face? And I'm supposed Honestly, to see that, that is iconic. And I swear to God, Chase, <laughs> yeah. they're calling me Gosh. like this is gonna be really good for you, Chase. Like we're not taking it out and I'm like I'll get my lawyers oh, if y'all don't believe this no. and you know like and I'm glad oh that they gosh. talked me into like you're gonna be okay you're gonna be okay mm -hmm. and then the trailer came out they used it in the trailer and oh, yeah. everybody and That's their mom was so coming at me it probably got like a like a billion views off oh, of for like so all way the more than that because like I, it's like you know and then here's the thing is like what I also wasn't expecting is when you go places and you run into people and they're like oh I recognize you from TikTok I recognize you from Bug. Instagram <laughs> Like, yeah, yeah, Roach boy. That, <laughs> that, but I'm not even just talking about specifically me anymore. I'm just talking about for you, when you expect it, now you have to expect that, you know, there are going to be people that are going to be in your corner. There's going to yeah. be the big Sydney fans. Yeah. Regardless if you are a big character or a small character on the show, there will be people that are just ride or die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stalkers. We we have stalkers. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and then you're gonna have the other end of that too. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're gonna the, be haters. Like, the haters. The haters. The haters. Like There's her hair looks stuff. terrible. Why the fuck she wear this outfit? Oh God. Yeah. Or like the people who will claim to have known you. Oh, I remember her oh. from this. Exactly. There will be oh. a lot coming. You're out gonna have like people that. saying we're related and like yeah. I know her. Just and like ready. here's God. the thing is like you're gonna have probably like a million people that are gonna say. Say, like so many nice things about you, Sid, and you're mm -hmm. gonna have like 10 people that are just gonna be assholes, so negative, and you're gonna yeah. completely negate all these million people. You're gonna focus on these 10 the people, and you're gonna be like, Why is this person saying X, Y, and Z? At the end of the day, and I say this is like, Go cry in your Lambo, like, I, and I yeah. use it as like a, an expression in the sense of like, You have the potential to really change your life and do mm -hmm. something really monumental for yourself because you got yeah. given an opportunity that. It might sound like a lot of people, 24, mm -hmm. but 24 people in comparison to millions of people that probably would love to be in your situation. You yeah, no, exactly. that's true. And it was like, it, like, I was even talking to my friends about it recently and my brother. It was like, it all happened so fast, but it, it was like every single thing, every like tiny move that happened and decision that happened worked out perfectly exactly like in my favor. Mm -hmm. Like. I was, was so blessed to actually get that opportunity. And it's like, You'll like after, clicks. yeah, I was like, yeah. okay, I'm so glad I did it. Cause before I was debating, mm -hmm. like, should I do it? Should I not? Like is- You only need three episodes. And I say that to mm -hmm. the T. You only need three yeah. episodes. Yeah, yeah. Anybody who three. watches past three, saw the first three. Mm -hmm. Nobody's okay. like, nobody's clicking on episode four and saying- That's true. Uh, you know what I mean? Every, if you make it on three episodes, I always tell people like, that's all you need. Because after that, it's like, you know, the views, think of it when you watch like a TikTok, eh? the view yeah. time is really high and then the watch time dies out, right? It's like that in reality TV, like how many people realistically getting to episode four, yeah. five, mm -hmm. six, seven, only the people That's that are true. really passionate about it, you know, at that point. But, and then it also goes off of like how they do screen time. Cause like they have, like I said, they filmed us like 12 hours a day, but there's like 24 of us. So like, yeah. how do we know what like they're gonna put on TV? Like were there like mm -hmm. certain things or certain conversations you had that you were like, oh no, they'll for sure put this in and it was nowhere near? Yeah, so like, like that's that's the thing like too that I'm gonna tell you is it's like, you, regardless of how you remember things happening or how things did happen, however they air it is how it happened. Because yeah. like that's mm -hmm. all that people are gonna see. And so like, you might really have like a good conversation with somebody, but it doesn't make sense for the story. So those yeah. the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Like they'll move things around. Like say like you were saying, I have like a really bad hair day. They could say like, they could cut the part where you're saying I'm really having a bad and then just cut out hair and then just say I'm having a bad day. And they, they can move their voice <laughs> Yeah, you know I've read I mean? that. So like, right. just be very, very prepared that. to understand. Mm -hmm. Be like, I don't remember that happening that way. Or I don't remember saying oh. that. Be fully prepared for that because <laughs> they will change. They have to make a story. You are there yeah. to make a story. And when you sign that little contract that yeah. they send you, it says Give in there, we have rights. creative freedom. We yep. can display you in any yeah. way. You're like, well, I didn't say that. Well, you did. You did. Because we, you signed we, it. we yeah. chopped it up and we made you say it. Yeah, you know? exactly. And this is a dating podcast, so I do, I do, I'm going to translate it. So she keeps tapping yes. me. And she's it's time me. for our other <laughs> But I'm like, wait a second. Before we transition to that part, I also want you to be fully prepared. Like, dating after the show is like also keeping in mind mm -hmm. that dating is going to change for you after the show because mm -hmm. there's going to be people that are going to reach out to you because they saw you on the TV show. Mm -hmm. There's going to be people yeah. reaching out to you because they liked or disliked you on the show. People are going to find you for clicks. So, mm -hmm. Being very mentally aware of that is a, a big thing yeah. that I want you to, to just always be very, not saying like 
fuck everybody, you know what I mean? No, I mean, but just like, be aware. You know, like, like yeah. just being like fully aware. Not like, like transactional. Yeah, you become a public figure at this point. So it's yeah. like now being. People are like people. associated for reasons. Yeah. Which sucks. Everyone but. has it for their own benefits. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Exactly. Yeah. But. Guys, it's time for one of your guys' favorite segments, and it's in the DMs. So what happens is we send different prompts out oh to everyone God. who follows us. It could be like a bad day or like worst breakup or like yeah. anything like that. So we ask them prompts and they DM it to us on Instagram or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so these are stories that have happened to our followers. So I read oh them God. and kind of like react okay, to yeah. them. So this week is, how did you find out they were cheating? So this first one is, the guy she was cheating on me with had a girlfriend. The guy keyed my car by mistake there was surveillance videos everywhere it took police less than an hour to solve it the police broke the news to me they were cool about it but we had to go to court to get the girl to take care of the damages okay okay first first and foremost the boyfriend keyed the girl's car no the girlfriend of the boyfriend keyed the other girl's car so the guy was cheating on a girl, mm -hmm. but he had a, oh wait, the guy was dating a girl, yeah, yeah. but he had a girlfriend, so confused, like, and then the, the girlfriend keyed the, the other girl's car. car. Yeah. Girlfriend keyed the other girl's. Yeah. Okay, she are was you like, one for like, me and my friends are talking about this, when a guy cheats, say you're dating a guy and he cheats on you with another girl, are you going to hate that girl? Or are you no, gonna it's be, a guy. Exactly. Yeah. The guy did it. You're dating the guy. You're not dating the girl. But she then had to bring her to court, though, to pay for the damages. Why did she keer a car? Yeah, but I'm why so would confused. she keep it? You know That's all they said. Isn't that like, crazy? Some, some girls insecure. are just like. Well, and then, hold on. The police came and they yeah. said. Yeah. Because there's videos. Because think about it. That's thousands of yeah. worth of damages. Especially so nice it's like. Photo? No, there's no photos or anything. It just said that she was totally nuts. Had to take her to court to pay for the damages. There was all sorts of drama. Oh, so she must have been the whack like, dog. Crazy, they must have had like some crazy. sort of like collusion at, at that point because yeah. it's like it's like you must have had like a vendetta towards mm -hmm. towards the girl because yeah like, yeah it's craziness. This one's even worse though. <laughs> we shared a phone bill. And we had over seven hundred dollars within two months of a lot of minute less phone calls to Scotland. Because you know how if you call Scotland. like a different country, what is that? she'd call him Scotland. back for forty five seconds and hang up. The ironic thing is she didn't think that a call underneath a minute would be charged. So there was like seven hundred dollars. Bro, bro had a lipstick stained passport. So he was dating a girl that was in Ireland. No, so Scotland. the girl was Scotland. cheating on her boyfriend. <laughs> Scotland. Scott. Okay, yeah, the girl was cheating on her boyfriend. Yeah, making these phone calls to this other guy. In Scotland. Because oh. she thought like, a minute, fo anything under a minute wouldn't show up on the phone bill. Oh, so she's out here like, okay. So yeah, hang up. Go. Hi, babe, how are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got this guy. Got this guy too. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. This girl should have been on your show. She got this down to her team. Exactly. No. I don't know how to stop watching everything. Yeah. She's so stupid for that, though. Yeah, like, how did she get I feel like work? you're going to get caught if you're going to be doing how that. Just not cheat in general. Exactly. And why Scotland? How how did you meet this man? That's a great question. Oh, great, great like question. Out of the country, maybe he won't know. <laughs> it's craziness. This one is almost worse. I was buying a house, and at the time came for touring with one of the realtors. The homeowner came home early, and we got to talking. Turns out she actually worked with my girlfriend. I told her I was a boyfriend. She goes, oh, so you're Tom. She told me all about you. No, my name's not Tom. The homeowner then went to her car and got on the phone. 20 minutes later, I got a call saying my girlfriend wanted to break up. Oh... Wait, so then the girlfriend tried breaking it up with him? Him. Because oh. she went out in the car and was like, hey, girl. Oh, Just FYI, no. I ran into someone I thought was Tom. Oh, no. Sorry. Wait, so she went to look at houses with her the, No, the boyfriend was looking at houses. The homeowner just so happened to be a co-worker. Of the of guy's the, girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, the guy's And she girlfriend. thought this entire time Tom was the boyfriend, but that wasn't Tom who was at the house. So Tom didn't text her? The, the, the homeowner said, hey, by the way, I met yeah. this guy. And then the girlfriend texted Broke Tom, up. hey, let's break up. Yeah. Damn, so she was planning that, yeah, that exit for a minute. She said, peace out, gotta go. <laughs> yeah. Gotta go. This one Poor has to guy. do with a sorority girl. <laughs> This oh, next one. Yeah, Delta Gamma. <laughs> oh my gosh. He got inducted into a I sorority. I saw that. Hey, what's yeah. What's uh, Minneapolis. Minneapolis. Yeah, Minneapolis. <laughs> went, to, went to the fair and then I got invited over to. There was like 50 people. Oh, I remember seeing that. I was like, hey. 
here. Yeah. Oh, they probably ate that up. Oh, yeah. oh they Minnesota, went Minnesota, you crazy. don't see reality TV. Like, oh, reality TV bar is some celebrities. Betty Wap was there, though. Yeah, Betty, yeah. Betty Wap was up there. Betty Wap was there. In Minneapolis? Yeah, yeah. At yeah. Delta yeah. I have no recollection of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're having a, uh, a whole, like, little one-on-one -on -one at the bar with Fetty Wap. And she goes, I didn't know that was Fetty Wap. I was like... I was a little intoxicated. <laughs> I'm like, damn, how'd you miss the fucking Milky White Eye? You chatting it up. Oh, oh my God. What's, yeah. that, what's that bar in Minneapolis? It's like upstairs and downstairs. Oh, it's um, Cowboy Jacks. Yeah, that's where yeah. it was. I accidentally Cowboy knocked Jacks. over a drink off the On side of the On top of like a bunch of girls' heads that were down I there. I didn't mean to. I was like oh. talking and my elbow hit the drink and it went oh, off girl. the side. I'm probably like, it's okay, do it again. One it's okay. Press, <laughs> oh, <we yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> this is awkward. I'm okay, crying. anyways, sorority girl. This was in grad school. She went back to the sorority house because she wasn't fe feeling well. I finished some homework, turned on the TV to watch our college basketball team play. She was courtside with someone else. Oh, no. I can't. Oh, no. That's, that like, the, the best of, like, getting caught up. Oh, no. Have you ever been in a, in a situation where you've, like, showed up somewhere and you've had, like, you could have gotten caught up. Like, there was a set up situation. I've never put myself in those situations, though. So. I've never done it on purpose. Yeah. But no, that's true. Sometimes it'll be like an ex situationship and like mm -hmm. my current situationship. But and the then they become friends. Like, yeah, either that or I find out they're friends and I'm like, oh. Oh, so you've had combos. You're like, oh, you, so you know about you me. You know, and I know. <laughs> okay. No, exactly. I've Jeez. been recently doing like a lot of story times about my ex-girlfriend on uh, they love TikTok. Them. And they've been, they've been going crazy. Oh, no. But it's so oh, funny gosh. because like I'll just scroll through it and I'll see like one of her friends oh, comment no. on it. Like, stop talking about X, Y, and Z. Stop oh, talking gosh. about this. And like, it's just like, am I not allowed to tell like my traumatizing stories yeah. about how she tried to hit me with a car? Like, oh, my God. Am I not allowed to say That's these crazy. things anymore? Because how she almost oh, broke her finger. Of, yeah. yeah. Like got my finger broken. Yeah, like, I just, no, you can still stole say her dog. Her, she stole your dog. My dog. Oh. It's just like a whole thing. It's just like I guess I just I shouldn't just. I mean, you were together for a long time, so of course you got some stories. Uh, I didn't hurt. We were seventeen, and we broke up when I was twenty-three. So that's a minute, oh. six years. Yeah, so you got to think years. like how different a person you are from seventeen in yeah. high school to. You like, don't even know who you are. You're then. not even twenty-three. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess you're twenty-three. I am twenty-three. I am twenty-three now. But like to like now, like well, how different yeah, like, from when you were seventeen. A lot. Yeah. Of growth years, you know, a lot. And especially as a as a as a girl to a guy too, because I feel like yeah. girls mature a lot differently. We, we mature faster. 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 Yeah, yeah, let's exactly. just capitalize on that. <laughs> I turned this into a Yeah, you but, did. Uh, it's just like you just become like such different people. So it's like you might be. Let's just say you're on the same level when you're 17, and then mm -hmm. you know, she's ahead when you're 18, and then and 19, and, and, and I'm more, moving yeah. like this. And then it's like we're 23, yeah. and she's ready for a home, a career, oh, wow. five Easy. kids, a dog. And I'm sitting there like. That's I got a bottle right. away from me at the club right now. Gosh, gosh. Yeah, I, I could never. I, I mean, being 23 right now, I could never. I'm not ready to. But it's different looking at people like, like back home. Yeah, like, I bet it? some of your friends. My back brother home. just got. He just proposed. He just got engaged. The 20, like two the, weeks ago. The, the younger. 20, he's oh, really? 25 now. Yeah, Shout it's out. him. Wow. Oh yeah, my god. He just to his girlfriend. Oh, good for him. You like your girlfriend? Oh, I love her. Oh, it's your sister now. So you yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, if I didn't, he would not be getting married to her. He would not. You put your foot down. Oh, like 100. percent Another one. He Come just, on. Yeah, he's me. And my brother, like both my brothers, were so close, but like. With the two year older two year older one, we grew up mm -hmm. together, so like we're yeah. so similar. I mean, we even look identical. Like, everybody sees no like, way. both of us and they think we're twins. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. but that's crazy. Okay, so we are actually winding down on the time that we have today. So Sydney, is there anything that you want to tell the people that you're working on right now for them to find you on all the socials and all that? Um well, I just actually started getting more into the, the theatrical aspect of film and TV, Yay. more scripted um, shows and stuff. So I'm working on something right now. I can't talk about it, but it's going to be some exciting stuff in the future. We'll be seeing more of yes, on the camera. Yes, on the camera and just my clothing brand. Okay, perfect. Stay tuned. Exciting. And where can they find all of your information at? Uh, Instagram, Sid the Babe. That's my name. Sid the Babe. <laughs> With two E's. And uh, TikTok is Sid Babe. Um, yeah. We'll put all your stuff in the description. <laughs> yes, but yes. Uh, thank you guys yeah. for tuning in to the number one podcast in the world. I'm your host, Chase Damore. And Gabrielle Moses. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.